Oh, now I already know what time it is. Say, check my man before I start my video, bro. Y'all already know what to do, man. Hit that like and hit that subscribe button. And when you hit the subscribe button, you better hit that notification bell. So anytime I drop a video, you'll be notified. Hey, Sarah Rocky, you can hop on. We can kick it up. We can vibe. Part two. I oh, know y'all been waiting for part two. So, part two start out. We started at 9 o'clock at night, all right? That was my, my training time, 9 o'clock at night. So, I get there the next night, and um, me and Dub, you know what I'm saying, immediately get in the truck, you know what I'm saying, and we head out to our, to our first stop. So, when we get to our first stop, you know what I'm saying, it really ain't nothing popping like talking about, you know what I'm saying. So, me and Dub just really talking. As we talking, he basically just telling me, like, things that I should and I should not be doing. But as he talking to me, I can tell that Dub is a little slur with his words you know what i'm saying he look a little tired with me already knowing his situation at hand i'm kind of looking at the situation like okay like you know like i'm gonna make sure i watch what dub is doing so that way i'm secure too because i don't want him to fall asleep behind the wheel and then wreck or anything you know what i'm saying so i'm like all right like let's just go ahead and get to what we're gonna do we get to a stop and he basically showing me how to hook everything up, you know what I'm saying? I hop out the truck with him, you know, we secure a, a, a dropping hook and we make a boy pay that dropping hook, right? Now, I'm noticing that while we doing this, that when it comes down to a white guy or a Mexican guy, they don't get irate with the, they just kind of be like, dang, man, you could have gave me a warning or whatever the case may be. But, all right, I'll pay the 250 I'll pay the 250 Now, as he, you know what I'm saying, conducting this, they always ask, you know what I'm saying, like, how you want me to pay it? And they'll be like, you know, you can either cash, give me the cash, 250 cash, you can either sell it, or you can give me the cash up. And in my mind, I'm thinking, like, dang, if somebody really wanted to, they can go ahead and collect a whole bunch of money and just dip off with this cash, you know what I'm saying? But then, obviously, we know that, you know, if you do that, you will be going to jail and or prison, you know what I'm saying? Because you're playing with these people's money, right? So, we pull up to this black guy, and when we pull up to the black guy, the black guy, like, as soon as we pull up and we know he black, Dub basically telling me, like, all right, like, you know, some black dudes, when we doing it, they be getting irate, bro. Like, you got to kind of, like, watch them, whatever the case may be. And I'm already knowing in my head, like, all right, well, shit, I know how to talk to people, so let me go up there. Let me talk to them, you know what I'm saying? So I go up and I talk to them, and I'm basically telling them, like, all right, bro, look, you know, you in a private property. You can't be right here, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got you hooked up. Now, we can either tow your truck to the pound, or you can pay that 250 and man, him talking, you know what I'm saying? He cordial with me and everything. And then when Dub hit the corner and he see Dub, he get irate. He start yelling. He start doing this. He start doing that. So in my mind, I'm thinking like, hold on, bro. Like, just chill. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to you ain't gotta do all that, bro. Like, just pay the 250 He like, nah, I'm just saying, bro. I don't know what he got going. we we'll whoop in the third. I'm like, all right, bro. Just hold on to this. Come on with the 250, you feel me? He like, all right, bro. All right, bro. So, boom, he paid me the 250. Well, he paid he paid Dub the 250, you know what I'm saying? And he get on up out of the. Now, as soon as he get up out of the, Dub telling me, like, yeah, man, like, I don't understand, like, why every time, like, a black guy sees me and stuff, he thinks I'm being racist. He thinks I'm doing this on purpose. He thinks this. He thinks that. And in my mind, I'm thinking, like, I can understand where you coming from because that was kind of, like, Four really just spazzed out on you, but he wasn't spazzing out on me. You know what I'm saying? So Doug basically telling me, like, man, you just kind of got to watch these guys. and You know what I'm saying? Be careful with certain things. I'm like, all right, that's a bet. That's a bet. So time goes by, you know what I'm saying? We get done with everything we're going to do, you know what I'm saying? And and me and Dub just finish up what we're going to finish up. And that was on a, it was on a Wednesday, you know what I'm saying? So that Thursday come around, they, and I'm right back with them, right? Now... The Thursday episode was probably one of the craziest nights of me being out there with Doug because of everything that happened, right? So, I, when we first get to our first property, obviously, you know what I'm saying, it wasn't really too much going on because we pulled up. I was in Irving. We pulled up, and it was a, um, let me cut this down, song. It was a, um, 
a hotel. So when we get to the hotel, Dub is saying, like, all right, go in there and go ask the manager, is this truck supposed to be here? You know what I'm saying? Because this is our property. So I get in there, and when I get in there, I get to talking to them. They looking at me like I'm speaking Chinese, right? They looking at me like, hold on, like, I, like we don't even know about no uh, towing company that we have to tow trucks. And I'm like, okay, like, well, you know, um, the guy that I'm with basically saying, like, my partner basically saying, like, he got a... a a contract with y'all you know and 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 that truck in the back like we need to know if they here to stay the night or if they just here to park and they're like no nah, i think that truck is here to stay you know what i'm saying tonight so there ain't no point in towing it so i'm like all right whatever so boom i'm telling dub like all right you know that they good or whatever he's like all right bet so we end up pulling up to like this uh to this gas station and whatever and when we pull up to the gas station, Dub is basically showing me the controls and he letting me operate the controls. So now I'm back there, you know what I'm saying? He teach me everything he needs to teach me. You know what I'm saying? We're going over the, the steps and the procedures on how to do certain things, how to let the boom down, extend, till all that extra stuff, you know what I'm saying? I'm feeling more comfortable as, as I'm doing this. I'm feeling more comfortable as I'm doing this, right? So... He was like, look, we're going to go ahead and go um, to our next property. If ain't nothing at our next property, then we're going to go to the Walmart and the Lowe's. Now, mind you, every time we went to the Walmart and Lowe's, it was always trucks there. But every time we went, it was always something going on to where it was like, dang, like, it could get wicked out to you, feel me? So we get over there. When we get over there, it's two trucks that's parked side by side right in front of the sign that says private parking. You cannot be parked right here, right? So Doug go. He let the boom down, and then we creep up, and then boom, we start, uh, you know what I'm saying, about to tow or about to pick this up for this uh, dropping hook. And as we doing it, in my mind, I'm thinking, like, like, like we Batman. Like, we just, you know what I'm saying, not necessarily – helping people out but we like thieves in the night type you feel me like because you gotta think like we gotta do this secretly and quietly you know and, and if nobody's in this truck we go ahead and take it to the pound right so boom we back up to it we hook up everything and right when we hook up you know what i'm saying and he lift that truck up as soon as he get to lifting it up i see the curtains moving i'm telling dub like hey bro like they they moving right because dub was underneath the truck and he was telling me like if you see the curtains moving or anything like that let me know so that way i can go ahead and finish it up with doing what i'm doing i can get up out of here i'm like i right, bet so the curtains get to moving is a black dude with dreads, you feel me? So he wrote on his one. He like, bro, what's going on, bro? Like, what, what y'all got going? What y'all got going? I said, man, it's a private property, bro. Like, you can't be a part right here. You know what I'm saying? We even gonna tow you, or you gonna have to pay the two fifty for us to, you know what I'm saying? Drop your truck. He like, man, nah, bro, come on, bro. Like, nah, bro, this ain't right. I'm like, calm down, bro. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. So he threw his hat back. Whatever. He like, man, what's up? I'm like, man, look, you see that sign right there, bro? That sign say private property. You cannot be right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just can't be right here. Like, we just doing our jobs. He like, man, I understand, bro. I understand, bro. Man, Dub came from up under that truck and he stood up and he seen, oh boy, seen him. He's like, man, what, what, what? This, this your partner, bro? I'm like, yeah, that's my partner. He was like, man, no, nah, bro. Drop, man, drop my truck right now, bro. Drop my truck right now, bro, before it get real, bro. Drop my truck right now before it get real, bro. So. As he's saying that Doug come, he like, can you calm down? He was like, no, nah, I ain't calming down nothing. You can calm down. You can drop this truck. You can drop this truck. He was like, don't make me get up out this truck. Don't make me get up out this truck. So now as he's saying this, I'm thinking to myself, like, oh, here go the danger part right here. You know what I'm saying? Calm down for we do you something. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, bro, it's just you by yourself. Like, come on now. So he like, man, come on, bro. Like, bro, it been so much stuff going on, bro. I just came from Chicago, bro. I have been driving all day, bro. My I had started in Chicago, bro. I come out here, bro. Like, my load that I drop out right down the street, bro. Come on, bro. Don't make me do this, bro. Like, my mom got cancer and everything going on. I just got this news. Now y'all talking about y'all finna tow my truck or pay 250 bro. Come on, bro. I can't, bro. I can't do this, bro. So as he's saying that, Doug walk up closer to him like, like, look, if you calm down, I can talk to you. He like, what's up, bro? He like, look. So your mom really got counsel. He's like, man, yeah, bro. Like you can see, bro. Like I'm sitting on TikTok right now, just looking at certain things, bro. Like trying to figure out like what's really going on with it and everything, bro. Like I don't need this right now, bro. Dub say, look, I'll drop your truck for you, man. I understand you going through certain things, but 
you can't be part to man. He said, next time I see you over here, I am gonna hook it up, bro. And you're gonna have to pay the 250 or it's going to the pound. He's like, man, you gonna, you really gonna drop it, bro? He's like, yeah, I drop it, bro. So boom, dub goes to unhook everything and drop the truck. As he's doing it, I'm talking to him, I'm like, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I hope your mom is, you know what I'm saying, better and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? I hope everything good with you. You know, just next time, like, you can't be parked right here, bro. Or otherwise, we're going to have to tow it. You're going to have to pay that 250 So, Dub come back and he tell him, like, man, just park over there on the other side, bro. Like, ain't nobody going to mess with you over there and you're going to be good. So, he like, all right, bro. All right, bro. Boom. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So, he back his truck up and then he gone by the business. And so, now... A lot of times, if the truck is nose in with the truck in the trailer, we ain't gonna be able to get it. You know what I'm saying? So, I had went and knocked on old boy door. The next dude, I'm like, hey, bro, you gotta move. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, we gonna tell you. He's like, oh, I appreciate it. So I'm telling him like, go park on the other side where the other truck is right there. So he's like, all right, all right, boom. So he he do it right. We get back in the truck and dub like, man, I hope that dude ain't trying to lie and put that stuff on his mama just so he ain't have to pay that two fifty or we told him. I'm like, yeah, I feel what you're saying. I feel what you're saying. So, boom, we end up going. Now, we in the Walmart parking lot, right? So, we end up going down, you know what I'm saying, that we had wrapped around, went through the lows, and we was just kind of scoping everything out to make sure that, you know what I'm saying, we're going to get them, we're going to get them right. Now, as we going down, it was like an Amazon truck, you know what I'm saying, no trailer. It was another truck, no trailer, but he was in his truck, you know what I'm saying. Then it was like a truck with a trailer on it, and then some more trucks with no trailer on it. Now, the truck that didn't have a trailer on it, we can come from the back end and hook them up from the back end, lift them up and make them pay that 250 you feel me? So, as we're going around, Dub saying, like, we're going to get the Amazon truck first because I know they're going to pay. So, we go around, boom, he dropped the boom again, and then, boom, we hook up to the Amazon truck. Now, these people had to be some hard sleepers because we hooked it up, lifted it up, and everything. Nobody made a certain move or nothing. Then he knocks on the door, right? Boom. So, it was a female. She came out. So when the female come out, she's sitting there, she's talking to Dub the whole time. And as as they doing now, I'm kind of checking out the other trucks, making sure nobody see us, nobody get up and don't nobody move, you feel me? So, because we want that money, you feel me? So, boom, bit. We go, he talked to old girl, you know what I'm saying? She ended up paying that, we dropped that truck, and then we move on to the next one, right? When we moved to the next one, it was a truck and a trailer. All right, so once again, we hook up to it from the front end this time because it got that trailer. Hook up in from the front end and lift it up. Nobody moved. I go knock on the door, and it was a Mexican dude, right? So I'm telling him, like, say, bro, like, you know, you, you can't be a part right here, whatever. He's like, man, come on, bro, really? Like, you, that's how y'all going to do me? It was a sign right behind him. I'm telling him, like, bro, you see that sign right there? You can't be right here. He's like, man, come on, man. Like, the people in Walmart told me I could park right here earlier today, bro, like three-something, right? Now, mind you, when it comes down to trucking, like, that's a 10-hour reset, all right? So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one. All right? One in the morning. When we was over there, it had to be, like, two in the morning. So, I'm thinking to myself, like, yo, 10-hour reset already up. If that was the case, you should have just went on ahead and booked it, you feel me? We sat there with that man for probably like an hour, hour and a half. We didn't have to talk to his boss. You know what I'm saying? His boss had to pay EFS. You don't know what the EFS is. They just let me know you ain't never been in trucking or had to pay nothing with the trucking. Like, you ain't never been broke down on the side of the road, had to pay EFS. It's, it's just like a, a company check that they could pay to the peoples, you know what I'm saying, and do certain things like that, right? So... He kind of giving us a hard time because he was tripping in the beginning and whatever the case may be. But then once we talked to his boss, I guess his boss had got on to him. Because mind you, right, it's 250 for just the truck. It's it's 500 for the truck and the trailer, you feel me? So they had to pay 500 off the rip. Boom, right then and there. So, oh boy, hot about the situation. And I'm sitting there and uh, he talking. He was like, so y'all just go around and just hook up the people's trucks and just... And just Basically, y'all just robbing us, huh? Like, is this even legit? Like, is this even a legit company? I'm like, yeah, this this a legit company, fam. Like, you see it on the back of the tow truck, you know what I'm saying? We, The whole thing is that you ain't supposed to be here on this private property, and you know that because of that sign right there. I don't know nothing, man. I don't know nothing, man. The people told me I could park right here, man. The people say I could park here. Y'all come through, wait for everybody to go to sleep, and then y'all sitting up there robbing us, man. This ain't fair, man. This ain't fair. I'm like, look, this. I'm just doing my job. I'm just doing my job, right? So, 
his people's finally get on the phone and whatever, you know what I'm saying? They paid the little chick, you know what I'm saying? And he went on by his way. So when he went on by his way, it was so many, it was a, it was a lot of trucks out there. So me and Dub thinking to ourselves, like, it's time to eat, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, we already did um, basically two with the, with the, with the dropping hook, you know what I'm saying? And now we're finna go and get this next one. So, so, boom, one, like, Right before that, he was thinking, he was like, I'm thirsty. Like, you thirsty? I'm like, nah, I'm good. Like, go get you something to drink or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, he was like, go walk to the Wendy's and get me give me something to drink. And I'm like, bro, I'm not I'm not walking to that Wendy's. You know what I'm saying? I'm not walking to that Wendy's, fam. He's like, well, I was like, bro, I'm, I'm not walking to that Wendy's, fam. Like, it, now the do boy, that's over with. Like, you're not finna do boy me. I'm, I'm, you not A, and I'm not you. So, I'm not finna walk to no Wendy's to get you something to drink. Right, so he was like, "All right, well, he get to looking on his phone. He's like, oh, well, McDonald's opened up. You know, it's right down there. Yeah, and I was like, bro, just drive down there, bro. Just drive down there. He was like, all right. So, boom, he drive down there. And it was two Mexican women that was sitting inside, right? They see the knocking on the door, on the little window. They not saying nothing to this man. He comes back to the truck. He's like, man, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know if it's because I'm white or what. And I'm like, bro, it's not everything is because you white, fam. Not everything because your way is late, bro. You don't know if these people open up or not. Like, you just, you straight going to the racism card. You feel me? So, boom. They finally, you know what I'm saying, opened up the window, gave him his drink or whatever, you know what I'm saying, and we proceeded to go to the next, to the next people. As we pulling over there to him, I see a dude, a black dude in this truck. Right when I hopped out, you know what I'm saying, and Dub dropped the, um, and I went to go drop his, um, his boom and he's finna back up the first truck pulled out now these two trucks right here didn't have no trailer hooked up to it was just the tractor right so oh boy end up moving boom when he moved i'm telling dub just hook up to the next one just hook up to the next one like all right so boom he go he finna hook up to the next one as he hooking up to the next one the first dude who pulled out got out his truck a big black dude you feel me he was like i'm just letting you know right now man if you would have hooked up to my truck it would have been problem bro it would have been problems so i'm like so i'm like all right like whatever you know what i'm saying and i should have just i should have just um denied that call so i was like all right bro like i don't know what else to tell you you know what i'm saying all i'm saying is bro if you would have been right here we would have hooked up to you you know what i'm saying he was like bro i got the receipt to let you know that i just went in a walmart and shop i was just in walmart shopping walmart clothes fam Walmart closed, man. He was like, I'm just saying. I just went to that shop, and then I had fell asleep for like a couple hours, right? So as he as he's saying this, now Dub get up and he walk over there to him. He like, what's going on? He was like, I'm just telling y'all right now, bro. If you'd have hooked up to my truck, it'd have been problems. He was like, what you mean? He was like, it's illegal to do this. It's illegal to do this. Dub like, it's not illegal because all these signs that's around here letting y'all know that y'all cannot be parked on private property. Well, I was shopping, man. How long was you in there shopping for? Because Walmart closed. He was like, man, I went in there. I got my receipt right now. I was shopping, and I fell asleep for just a couple hours. See? And, and Dub was like, see? And that's the thing. If we would have caught you while you were sleeping, hooked up to your truck, we would have told you and made you pay that drop fee. If you would have hooked up to my truck, I would have called my lawyer. And guess what? I win every time. Every time, I win. He going on about this situation that if we would have hooked up to his truck, he would have called his lawyers and this, then the third, you feel me? So we're like, all right, bro. So he walked off, right? So now we go go back to hooking up the truck, right? So as we hooking up the truck, he comes back over there. Now he trying to show me something on his phone about how he contacted his lawyer and how they won in the case where a truck driver or a tow truck tried to hook him up and do this and that because he was somewhat eating on private property, right? And yes, the the stuff he showed us, he did win that settlement, right? He was like, I'm just I was just trying to show y'all, man. If y'all if y'all would have hooked up to me, man, y'all would have been in trouble, man. I would have sued y'all company, man. Y'all can't be doing this out here, man. You you never know, bro. You run to the wrong person. That person might be crazy. And he could hurt y'all, man. Like, y'all got to be careful out here. Y'all got to be careful out here, right? So then Doug walked off and he looked at me. He was like, bro, just be careful out here. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know what could happen. Especially while you with him. And then he walked off. And I'm thinking to myself, like, bro, like, I ain't trying to hear that. I'm trying to get this bread, you feel me? I'm trying to feed my family, bro. Whatever you got going, bro, get on up out of here, you feel me? So, boom, I go. 
And I go get the chain, and I'm telling Dub, like, you want me to, you want me to uh, tie this axle down, you know what I'm saying? He's like, yeah, go ahead and tie the axle down. So, boom. And, and like, because if it's just a truck, you can see the, the, the catwalk, you can see the tires, you can see the axle, you can see everything. So, I tie the chain around the, the, the uh, tire axle, you know what I'm saying, just in case they try to leave or whatever, it ain't going to move. So, boom, right when we hook it up and he lift it up, I still see nothing. So, I go to knock on the, the window and I'm telling him, like, hey, bro, um, come holler at me. Come holler at me, right? So, he come out, dreadhead dude. He come out, black dude. He's like, what's up, man? I said, hey, bro, um, you on private property, you know what I'm saying? We got you up to our tow truck and it's going to be 250 to get you up out of here. He's like, man, what? Man, hold on. So, he go to the back and then he get his shirt, you know what I'm saying? And he open up the door. Now, he hop out. When he hop out, this dude, lily hell. Little ass black dude with dreads, bro. And um, so he like, man, what's up? I'm like, man, yeah, you on private property, bro, and uh, you know it's gonna be two fifty. You know what I'm saying? To drop it, or we're gonna take you to the pound. He like, dang, bro, man, I had just now nah, just came up here like maybe like two hours ago, man. That my stop right now here, bro, right down the street, bro. I was just trying to give me some rest. I said, I'm already knowing. I'm already knowing how it go, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I'm in trucking too. You know what I'm saying? He like, for real? I was like, hell yeah. He was like, so you know how this go, huh? I said, bro, I already know how it go. But, you know, I be parking lot at the Loves or, like, the QTs or, like, something like that or, like, at the customer stop. I don't never go to no Walmart, no no private property like that. He was like, man, I ain't even know, bro. I ain't even know. I was like, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like, it is hard to know, but it's a lot of signs around here that tell you. So, he get to look around. He's like, dang, you sure live right, bro. I said, yeah, so just get your, get yourself together, man. I was like, just get get yourself together. And then, you know what I'm saying, let me know what's up. He was like, what you, what you said? Just like, he was like, what you said? I said, I said, get yourself together. And then just let me know how you're going to pay that 250 He's like, all right, bro. I was like, you can either pay it cash, Zelle, or cash app. He was like, all right, bro, hold on, give me a minute, give me a minute. So, boom, he go in the truck, and then he come out. When he come out, he see Dub standing right there by the truck. Right, and he said, "This your partner?" I said, "Yeah, that's my partner right there." Right now, mind you, the whole time me and Kim folk was sitting up here talking, he was cordial. He see Dub, he see him, and he like, "That's your partner?" I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "Man, come here real quick. Let me holler at you." So now his voice is getting louder. I'm like, "Bro, what's up?" Like, man, Dub, come over there. He like, "Bro, so why you hooked up to my truck, man?" Why you hooked up tomorrow? Why you ain't come knock on my well, knock on my window, bro? Like usually when when stuff like this happen, bro, they usually give you a warning, bro. You ain't give me no warning. You just came, you just came and hooked up to my truck, bro. Like you just trying to trying to steal money or something, bro. Like what's up with you, bro? Like why you just hooked up to my truck? Now Dub, like all right, calm down, man. Like this is my job. He's like, bro, I don't care about none of that, bro. I don't care about none of that, bro. You should have came. You should have knocked on my door and let me know and gave me a warning, bro. I would have got up out of here. Now you want to come hook up to my truck? So Dub, like man. Look Listen, I'm just trying to tell you, bro. I'm just trying to tell you what's up. He like, man, well, what's up, then? You on private property? He already told me that, bro. Tell me something new. He said, look, man, you on private property? You ain't supposed to be here, all right? Now, you can either pay the two fifty, or you can keep being ass, and we're gonna take it to the pound. He was like, bro, you ain't taking my truck nowhere, bro. You need to go ahead and unhook my truck right now, bro. You need to go ahead and unhook my truck right now. So at that point, I felt like it was my time to step in. So I stepped down, I was like, hold on, bro, like, let me talk to you. He was like, man, what's up, man? I said, bro, look, I just told you you was on private property, bro. Like, you can't be here, you feel me? I was like, bro, you could go over there to that cons, over there across the highway. He get to look, and he was like, oh, all right, all right. I was like, but at the end of the day, bro, like, you yelling, and you doing this, you doing that, that's not going to help the situation, fam. I'm like, we not going to drop this truck unless you pay that 250 Otherwise, it's going to the pound. He's like, all right, bro. All right, bro. So Dub trying to talk to him. He don't want to talk to Dub, though. You feel me? He's like, man, you just being racist, bro. You just being racist, bro. You just coming up here trying to mess up a black man's money, bro. You being racist as hell right now. Dub, like, I ain't trying to be racist, man. I'm just trying to feed my family the same way you trying to feed yours. He's like, how? How, bro? You see I'm up here asleep, bro, just for a couple of hours, bro. And then you want to come up here and just hook your truck up to mine, bro? Man, come on, bro. This kidnapping, bro. You can't even, you can't even hook up my truck like that. Kidnapping. It's really not kidnapping. You know, Dub telling him, like, it's, it's really not kidnapping, right? Let me get back in my Dub voice. Dub say, it's, it's really not kidnapping because I didn't drive off. Now, if I would have drove off, 
then it would be kidnapping. Other than that, you're on private property, okay? So, me lifting up your truck, it's not kidnapping because I didn't drive an inch. Now, if I would have drove an inch, then yes, you could have said kidnapping. But, since you're on our private property, which it says it right there on that sign, and even in the front, you're going to have to pay that 250 okay? So... I'm sitting there and I'm just peeping game on what he's saying. And the black dude like, man, all right, bro. All right, bro. Like, how you want me to pay it, bro? How you want me to pay it, bro? Cash up a Zell, bro. So, Dub like, you could you could do a Zell. He's like, okay, what's the Zell name, bro? What's the Zell name? So, he gave him the Zell name. He's like, all right, man, hold on, bro. So, boom, he get back in the truck. He go get his phone. As he get in his phone, Dub come up to me. He's like, see, this is exactly what I be talking about, man. Like, like, every time, man, like, I just don't understand how, like, like, they always want to get mad at me because I'm doing my job, Key. Like, it doesn't make any sense, man. Like, I didn't come at him rude or nothing. But when he talks to you, it just seems like magically he's okay. And I, I, I just don't like that, man. Like, I just came to do my job, man. Like, I'm not harassing nobody. I didn't cuss at him or nothing, man. I just, I'm just trying to do my job, man. I'm just trying to do my job, man. So, as he's saying that right there, next thing you know, a boy come back out. He hop out the truck, you know what I'm saying? He come and he hop back out the truck. When he hop back out the truck. He like, all right, bro. He go, he go, he go to money. You know what I'm saying? He go to money, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But next time, man, you need to give somebody a warning or something, bro, because you could really get hurt. Like you could real deal get hurt out here, man. He looked at me. He was like, "Say, brother, man, you gotta be safe with this dude right here, bro, because this dude right here really get you hurt, man. Like I'm telling you, bro, like he'll really get you hurt out here, man. You gotta be careful with this dude, bro." I'm like, man, I'm good, bro. He was like, all right, bro. I'm just saying, bro. Hey, just be careful. Just be careful. I'm like, all right. So I'm telling Doug, I'm like, hey, bro, you want me to go tell those uh trucks with the, with the cars on it to move around? He's like, yeah, man, just go ahead and tell them to move around, man. So I'm like, all right. So as I'm walking away, I can, as I'm walking off, the little dude with the dress getting loud with Doug. So I turn around, I'm like, everything good? Like, everything good? And Dub like everything's good, man. And the black dude like, nah, we good, bro. I'm just, I'm just trying to see like, what's up, man. I'm just trying to see what's up, man. Woo whoop in the third, like, why y'all ain't got no license plate on y'all truck, man? Like, I don't know if this is a scam or not. I don't know if this is a scam or not. So Dub like, I'm good, bro. Just go tell him to move around. I'm like, all right. So I go and I go tell him to move around. After that, right there, when I come back, Dub is like, man. Let's just go ahead and go. Let's just call it a night, man, because, man, it's, it's, it's always something, man. I just don't feel like putting you in no situation, you know. I don't feel like putting you in no situation. I'm like, bro, you good, bro. We out here to make some money, you feel me? He was like, yeah, I know, man, but it's already getting late, man, and I'm just ready to go back home, man. I was like, all right, all right. So, boom, I tell the people to leave. They end up going down to the uh to the lows where we, where we steady toe. And I'm like, bro, why would y'all go down there? You feel me? So, I'm like, all right, whatever. So me and Dub left it alone, booked it to the um to the yard, and that was my second night there, right? My second night, I already immediately felt the danger of the whole situation, all right. But at the same time, it gave me some type of adrenaline rush because in my mind, I'm thinking like, even though I own no Dub like that. If something pop off, I got his back because we in the same industry. We work in the same, like everything's the same, you feel me? So, that next night, it was pretty much the same. Go out, do this, do this, do this. And this is on a Thursday, right? Well, that Friday come, or once I got off, no, matter of fact, after that day, once Wednesday night ended, I get a call from my peoples that hired me on the job. And they're like, look, you're not going to come in Thursday night. You're going to come in Friday morning, and I want you to go out with a guy named T. Now, when you go out with T, T is going to teach you how to drive the tow, the tow lifts, right? Which is basically, it looked, that motherfucker looked like a, um, 
a F-150 type, you know what I'm saying? But they got this thing on the back, just like the, the big truck had. It had a boom going down, right? But it had, like, it was a remote in the car. You can work everything from in the car, drop it, hook it up, boom, 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 hop out, put the chains on, put the tire straps on, you know what I'm saying? Do it. If you need the tire steering wheel down, you do that, and then you can peel off. It was easier, right? So that's why I'm leaving this story at for when it comes down to the next day on Friday whenever I had to go out with T. Now, mind you, right, I'm a, this story going to come out today, this morning. I'm going to drop the next one a little later on tonight or whatever because I'm going to have to speed the process up because I want y'all to be able to understand and get these these uh stories on what's going on or what just happened or whatever the case i can't give y'all everything in one video you feel me i gotta i gotta have y'all one more you feel me i gotta gotta spoon food spoon feed you a little bit and, and you know how them kids be like ah, 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 ah. and then like when you get in the food they be they be reaching for it that's kind of how i want y'all on these stories i want y'all reaching for it you feel me so i'm gonna leave it right here but just know when i get with t Shit, it get wicked, you feel me? And it get wicked real quick, all right? Um, like I always tell y'all, man, no matter what going on in life, bro, no matter who praying your downfall, whatever the case may be, bro, just keep going. I see that I got some, some, some people watching my stories all of a sudden because of this topic that I'm talking about. Do I care? No, I don't, bro. I don't care about none of that, you feel me? And y'all will see why. Once we get done with the full story, y'all gonna see why I really don't even care. You feel me? Cause I felt like I was done wrong at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Like it just it just mind blowing, right? My, mind you, right? They was at first saying that I'm not gonna get paid for training. Then they said I am gonna get paid for training. Who doesn't pay for training? What job have you ever been on where they say they're gonna train you and don't pay you? Don't worry, I'll wait. Okay. So, I'm going to leave the store right here, man. I'm going to come back a little later on because I got to go take care of some business. You feel me? But trust me, bro. You're not going to want to miss this. Like I always tell y'all, man. Make sure y'all send on y'all P's and Q's. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you head all the way on the swivel at all times. You know what I'm saying? And we always going to apply pressure and keep our foot on their neck. And if they can't breathe, bitch, we're applying more pressure. We're going to get you up out of here. Just keep it in the beam, dog.